Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the Windows activities and the screen scraping activity under UI automation. For this walkthrough, we will create two separate sequences, that's one for window and the other for screen scraping. And we will use w3schools.com for these sequences. For the first sequence, we will open w3schools.com, maximize the window, and check whether this window exists or not. And if it does exist, then it should display a message box saying window exists, and then minimize the window. For the next sequence, we'll retrieve the current active window using get window activity, extract this table, and then preview the data table, and then close the window. So let's see how these activities work in Genie. So I'll drag and drop the open browser activity first and provide the URL. Next, the maximize activity. The maximize activity maximizes the window. Next, the window exists activity. Window exists activity checks whether the window exists or not. So we'll click on select window. And this is the window that we want to select, Chrome HTML tables. So we'll click it and select window, press OK. The output will be a boolean value which will be assigned to a variable var exists. So next I'll drag and drop the decision activity and for the condition I will type var exists equal equal true which means that the, if the window does exist then we need to display a message, so I'll drag and drop the message box and the message would be window exists and finally I will drag and drop the minimize activity the minimize activity minimizes the window so now let's see how these activities work so click on save all and I'll run the sequence. As you can see it opened W3 schools, maximized the window and the window does exist, that is why we can see this message box saying window exists. Now when I press OK, it will minimize the window. So now let's move to screen scraping. For this, I'll drag and first I'll drag and drop the get window activity. The get window activity retrieves the current active window and performs multiple actions within it. So first we need to click on select window and we can select the same window that we chose before so click on select window press ok now next the extract data extract table data activity the extract table data activity extracts data from the screen and saves it into a structured data table. So we need to click on configure, click on next and we'll just maximize this window. Then click on the first element of the table and we will get a pop-up saying you've selected a table cell would you like to extract the data from the whole table click on yes and then the next pop-up build the select of a root element of a data source grid or table click on ok and then you can press ok and we can see a preview so yeah we can click on finish 
Now the output would be a data table which will be assigned to this variable var data. So to preview the data table when it's during runtime, we can drag and drop the preview data table activity and as for input this is var data because and that would show the data table from the previous activity and finally I will drag and drop the close activity this closes the window so now let's click on save all and let's run the sequence as you can see it retrieved the active window which is this window and then it extracted the data table and it show it shows a preview of the data table and when I press when I press this cancel button it closes the window. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.